Danny Flexen here, four seconds out with Dennis Duglin in Brighton and Hove Boxing Academy. Home, of course, to Chris Eubank Jr. has just walked in behind us. Um, your chief sparring partner for Eubank Jr. headed a big fight next week with James DeGale. We obviously had the pleasure of speaking to you last week. Kind of become the undisputed star of this camp, I think. Been building your UK fan base as you go. One, one thing you told us off camera is that previous to coming over here, you were actually working in the camp of David Lemieux. Just tell us a little bit about that and how his camp compares to the Eubank camp. Um, like I said, they're, they're extreme professionals over there. I really like David, um, Marcus, head coach, everybody over there, the rival guys. So um, it's a great camp. That's my second camp with David. Um, the work is good. David's tough, I'm hard hitting. But you know, I'm a beast though. So <laughs> I do well with David. I mean, I do. I think I do well with everybody. So it's, it's, it was a good camp though. And how does it differ from this camp? What differences have you noticed coming over for Chris's camp? Different, I mean, what do you, in what sense? Like, is just in, Well, no, just generally, so in the terms of how they train over with Lemieux in, in Canada and how you train with Chris here, oh. different focuses or? To be honest with you, I'm only, when I'm in the camp with David, I'm only in the gym with him when he's sparring. So I don't, this camp has been great because I've been with Chris the whole step of the way. I watch him, send the conditioning, watch him on his training days, sparring days. So over there, they just, all right, sign a spar, come in. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. Um, so I, I like this camp a lot as far as being able to really watch somebody prepare for a fight of this caliber. So it's been cool. And you also remarked off camera that you started in with quite long rounds of, not long rounds, sorry, many rounds of sparring right from the start. Just tell us a little bit about that. Did you go in straight at eight rounds, were you saying? Yeah, um, from the beginning of the camp, Chris went right into eight weeks, I mean, eight rounds of sparring and doing that three days a week. So he's been in great shape from the beginning. And we just worked on pushing that, worked on pushing that. And I worked on trying to bring the best out of him. He brought the best out of me. It's been fun, man. It's been a really great camp. I really enjoyed myself. You ain't looking too shabby shape yourself. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> but is that kind of testament to this as well? Do you normally spar this much when you come into someone else's camp? Do you normally do eight rounds three times a week? Um, I'm going to say no, not typically. Not from the beginning and not for six weeks in a row. Like We might build up to six to eight, ten at the end of camp, but to start with eight rounds was very, very impressive to me. So, um, like I said, it, it forced me to get in a lot better shape quick because I think when I first started camp, I would say I was in six round shape and he pushed me those last two. Before leaving now, I'm in a 10, 12 round shape, so. And knowing, having your kind of preconceptions of Eubank before you came into the camp, has anything about him surprised you, particularly in the sparring? Um, sparring wise, no. Um, I think I pretty much, like I said, we sparred a couple times in the States. I pretty much knew what he brought to the table as far as a fighter. Um, I do like that during this camp, they've worked on incorporating a lot more different things because I think before he was kind of one dimensional. He's opened up a little bit more now, which you, you ha I'm happy to see as a fighter. Um, but yeah, I pretty much knew what I was expecting. I think anybody that's watching the fight knows what to expect. You're going to get a tough, hard working, in shape fighter. And having now shared so many rounds with him and spent so much time with him, just tell us what you think his top three qualities are. Top three qualities. I'm going to say his conditioning, um, his grit, because he's really a, a tough, tough fighter, um, and his power. He, he, he has good punch of power, so I'll give him those three. Have you rocked him at all? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't like the brag, but you now I'm playing him. Like I said, I don't, I don't like to discuss anything in, from sparring. It came just out of respect for both fighters. But um, like I said, it's been great competitive work. Let, let me just put that slightly differently in that he's not the biggest super middleweight. He could, in fact, still make middleweight. But were you surprised at all, given his size, that he could stand up to your shots? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not a big super middleweight either. I'm a little, I'm a little super middleweight too. So, but I, do have, I think I have a big punch. Um, I'm not going to say I was surprised that he was able to take to do to do what he was able to do, but um, I think he's been able, he's done he's done he's done enough to stand with Degal in my opinion. And just finally, you and trainer Nate Vasquez have both been staying with um, the, uh, Eubank Jr. in his house, which isn't always common for guys that come over. What's it been like, kind of living with him as well as training with him? I'm not gonna lie. When they first told me when I was in the states, and they told me I had to stay. I was staying in his house. He told me that I was just like I was kind of like. Cause I've always stayed in a hotel, so I kind of was thrown off by that. But um, the house is the house is gorgeous, so it's been great for me. I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to tell them let me come back and let me just have my room for whenever I want to come out. I don't even need hotels anymore. So tell us a bit about the dynamic. Like, is he cooking for you? Are you guys cleaning the place on a rotor system? What's going kind of on? I mean, he cooks for him, but he doesn't like leftovers, so he'll cook, and then I'll just wait till he's eating. And I grab my own food, like, and then when he gets me out, like, fight me then, like, <laughs> so that's that's it. I mean, he does he does his own cooking and stuff like that, though. So, 
I just. Eat. Have you been chipping in, cleaning the bathroom, you know, doing your bit? I don't do anything. I go to sleep. <laughs> I come get his food and go in my room and go to bed. Um, he's a very clean, clean person, though, so he does want me to clean, but. <laughs> it sounds better than a hotel for you. Yeah, it's been, it's been, like I said, it's been a great experience, man. He, he's super cool. So, like I said, um, I just it's, it's been great for me. Like I said, food, nice room. I'm chilling, having the time of my life. Come work out. It's, it's been great. And apart from the actual training itself, what's been the highlight so far of your time in the UK? Um, besides the training, we play a lot of poker. He's a really he's a poker fan, so. We play a lot of poker. I won a lot of Chris's money. Don't lie. <laughs> a lot of, I made a lot of money out here. You're going back with some serious, serious wedge. Serious mm -hmm. pounds, because he does. He, he can't tell when I'm bluffing. I'm so much of a clown. Everybody thinks I'm, I'm bluffing. No, I have a full house, bro. Well, I hope the exchange rate's kind to you. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Well, best of luck. We hope you get a fight date lined up soon, because it'd be a shame to waste all the work you've put in. I agree. I hope so. I'm like I said. I'm I'm ready for all the the top 168s. So I want to fight anybody. Um, like I said before, it's when to retire for me. So I, I'm putting my career on the line in every fight. The next time I lose, I'm going to leave my boxing alone. So with that in mind, if you think I'm not good, then just fight me. Make me, beat me, and then I'll quit. That's it. You heard him. Hit him up on Twitter, Instagram, the mama's boy, Dennis Duglin. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it.